Okay, gang, uh, this is section 4.3, number 19. Uh, they're not giving you a standard triangle here. They're, you're, they're gonna mostly give you just random values. So what you wanna do is you wanna draw the triangle they're giving you, okay? Um, let me just, cause some of you are very, um, I just rough sketch stuff, but some of you are very meticulous, so let me do this a little bit better. Okay, draw it a little better to scale. Now, I'm choosing to put theta here. You could choose to put theta there. It just depends how you want to draw your triangle. But once you choose where theta is, everything else revolves around theta. So the sine of theta uh, refers to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if I choose theta here, this would be the opposite side. This would be the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle. If I had chosen theta to be here, this would have been my opposite side. I would have put the 1 here and then put the 5 here. Okay, so it really, what, you have to decide where your theta is and then everything falls or clicks into place after that. Alright, so you need to find this third side of this triangle. So that's when you use the Pythagorean theorem. I'll just call it A randomly, okay? So of a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. These are your legs, meaning the, uh, these two are the legs, which are the sides that are not the hypotenuse. So it's leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So a squared plus 1 squared equals to 5 squared. Oh, hold on. Hand and brain are not talking. Okay, uh, then subtract the 1, and then take the square root. Uh, you only do the positive version here because we're talking about magnitude, and magnitude in this case could not be negative, okay? So we don't do plus or minus because of the application of it. All right, let my brain think a minute here. That's uh, 4 times 6, so this is a 2, so this is um, 2 radical 6, okay. All right, so this side is 2 radical 6. By the way, I do not care uh, if you rationalize or not. I will not take off if you do not rationalize, okay? All right, I'm just going to put the sign down here. Uh, and the reason I like to do that is I like to sometimes put that across from the cosecant. So the reciprocal sign is cosecant. Cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite, or if you want to think about it, it's the flip of the sign. So 5 over 1 or 5. Okay, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Um, the reciprocal of cosine is secant. The secant is the flip of the cosine, or you could think about it as the hypotenuse over the adja uh, adjacent. I, again, I don't care if you rationalize. If you did rationalize, you multiplied up down by radical 6. And if you multiplied up down by radical 6, this would become a 12. Okay, I'm really good with that. If you want to rationalize, I'm good with that also. All right, let's do tangent. Tangent is the uh, opposite over the adjacent. Uh, I'm good with this. If you rationalize, you multiply it up down by radical 6, so you have this. You have rad 6 over 12. Uh, the reciprocal of the tangent is the cotangent, which is the flip of that, which would be 2 over radical 6. Okay, gang, that's it on this one. They just wanted you, once they give you the one trig uh, function, you set up the triangle, you find the missing side, and then you just do the uh, other five, okay? You have to memorize cosecant's hypotenuse over opposite. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So you want to sort of have these, uh, you want to sort of know what these are, what, what parts of the uh, triangle you're pulling out, okay? All right, hope that helped. I'll catch you. Bye-bye.